Oh, hey everyone. Welcome to Gameplay First, where fun is second to none. My name's Tyler, and I'm just doing a little spring cleaning. You know, it's been a while since I cleaned up back here. I can't even remember the last time that I... Ah! I think I just shit myself. Yep. Okay, um, now that I've changed my underwear, I think it's time to calmly address the issue that my apartment is haunted. Call the Ghostbusters! Call the Exorcist! Call Stop Luffy! Okay, just, just calm down. You trained for this. You've been playing Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon. This game is a sequel to the much-loved GameCube launch title, Luigi's Mansion. Well, much loved by me, anyway. The story goes that Professor E. Gadd of the previous game has settled in the haunted Evershade Valley to research the paranormal. Why there? Well, because a mystical artifact known as the Dark Moon hovers in the sky over the valley, pacifying the ghosts of the area and suppressing their mischievous tendencies, and simultaneously keeping them from being subjugated by more powerful ghosts. Unfortunately, the Dark Moon has been shattered and the ghosts of the valley are now running wild. Professor Gadd must retreat to his bunker, and he calls for the best ghost hunter in the world for help. Unfortunately, they're a little busy, so he settles for Luigi. Now, for the record, the original Luigi's Mansion was actually intended to be played in 3D, but how big of a difference does the stereoscopic 3D make on this game? A hell of a lot, actually. I'm not kidding, looking at this game in 2D does not do it justice. It gives you a real haunted dollhouse in your 3DS feel, and the aesthetic makes catching ghosts way easier since you can tell exactly where they are in the room. In addition, this game isn't just limited to one ludicrously large mansion. Instead, you've got five different haunted buildings to explore in a variety of styles. The change of scenery really helps keep the game from getting stale, which is great and offers a wide variety of environments and hazards to overcome. But now the game is broken up into missions, and this kind of breaks the free-roaming feel you got from the first game. No more can you freely wander the haunted halls. You're on set, mostly linear missions, and although you can replay them, certain areas of the mansions will be blocked off. Speaking of which, since now there's more than one mansion, this game should technically be called Luigi's Mansion. The actual gameplay of capturing ghosts has also changed. Rather than just shining your light on them, now you have to hit them with a strobe light before you can suck them up into the poltergust. To be fair though, getting hit with a strobe light would probably stun me too. OW! GOD DAMN IT! YOU BASTARDS! COME HERE! Speaking of booze, there are 50 of the little buggers to capture in Luigi's Mansion's Dark Moon. You'll have to use a new gadget called the Dark Light device to find them. Then grab their tongues with the Poltergust, fling them around the room, and stuff them into the vacuum. I mean, is that kind of overkill? It's a little inhumane. Oh, okay, that's it! Hang on a second. Come here, you little bastard! I'm gonna... <laughs> anyway. Luigi's Mansion's Dark Moon is a great game. It's funny, it's entertaining, and overall it's a vast improvement over the original, despite the fact that it feels a little less open. But besides being a fantastic game, it also teaches you some pretty useful life skills. For Gameplay First, this is Tyler, signing off. Now if you'll... I think I'm gonna need a bigger vacuum. Oh, that's all